what is up what is up what is up you guys it is your girl Nadra welcome back to my channel please do me a favor go ahead and click the like and subscribe button if you have not already click the bell so you know whenever I post a video your source for motivation culture learning living along the way in my wacky life so guys <laughs> I really love Jimmy Kimmel, okay? And I also found out he's a Catholic like me, so I'm like, oh, Jimmy Kimmel. But, dude, I've loved Jimmy Kimmel for a really long time, but right now, while all of this Trump indictment stuff is coming to light, which I'm like, finally. And, like, Republicans are turning on Trump and Pence and all of these people who have just been having... You know, doing the craziest stuff, craziest stuff that is reverberating, you know, through time and space and history that are making like terrible, terrible, you know, sort of, it's, it's really been basically setting these terrible consequences, not just for us right here in 2023. Well, I mean, this has been going on since 2016, but for time and generations to come. So, you know, but... My dad, you know, I think he stole these words from Shakespeare, but still, it was really great, but I quote it all the time. He says that tragedy plus 10 years is comedy, and that is why I value comedy so much, because it really does just kind of sit back and make you laugh about stuff. So, Jimmy Kimmel, his show, Jimmy Kimmel Live, released something on YouTube the other day entitled, Trump's Last Ditch Effort to Avoid Indictment. Okay, and Grand Jury Leaves Us Hanging and Muck's AI Warning. <laughs> okay, I'm not really going to concentrate on any of that stuff. I just want to know if this one part of this clip is real. One part. One part of this whole bit. Just one clip. So guys out there in the internet, please tell me if this is real because I'm looking at it and I'm trying to figure if it's like, a, a, I'm trying to figure out if it's a deep fake. Is it, um you know, like CGI after the fact, because I cannot imagine that this is real. Like, okay, just let's look at it together and you let me know. Mike Pence has not announced he's running for president yet, but he was chatting it up with voters in Iowa today where I'd like you to pay special attention to the man in the background to his right who seemed more interested in his breakfast than in the former vice president. Uh, wonderful to be with you. I appreciate you all coming out. Looking forward to hearing what might be on your mind. President Joe Biden is weak in America at home and abroad. Another, literally, you can trace back. One of my unworthy son-in-laws is a lieutenant in the United States Navy. Uh, and my life has changed a lot since the last time most of us were together. And the young pastor earnestly said to him, well, what do you think we ought to do? And the farmer said, please tell me what is happening. What is happening? He stretched her arms out. Oh, my God. Dude, is it that serious? Is it that serious? And then, of course, run away. Oh, my God. Five minutes later, we made the strongest military in the history of the world. I told him things he didn't want to do. Oh my god. And now he's going to sleep. Now he sleeps. It was too much for him. Now he's asleep. Okay, so clearly the leadership in the right is in the, in America is really captivating. It's really, really captivating. I mean, it is changing people's lives. I mean, come on. How is he going to be Donald Trump? Oh my god. Exactly. How is he going to be Donald Trump? He can't even be hash browns. This man was so... Okay, anyway, guys, I... What do you think about this? Please tell me what you think about this in the comments because I, I don't understand. I really, really don't. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Again, if you have not already, please click the like, subscribe button, hit the bell so you know whenever I post a video and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.